Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Money Matters, because as we all know, money does matter. So where are you today, Paul? I'm down in Southampton. What are you doing down there, Paul? I'm doing a five-day course uh, for Day Skipper. This is the theory. Because when I do something, I like to do it properly, as I'm sure most of us do. And there's huge risks in not taking the right advice, not getting the right qualifications, you know, not investing in yourself. Because shortly, I'll be picking up my lovely new boat, my, well, it's not new, it's actually quite an old boat, but it's a classic boat. So it's a Sunseeker Superhawk 34, very excited. It's, uh, again, not this particular one, but this model has featured in two different James Bond films. And I'm gonna be able to take eight, nine, even 10 people out to sea on it. And it's fast enough so you can do water skiing, uh, it's got a cabin on it. Given that I'm gonna be the captain, literally, I'm gonna be the captain, and I'm responsible for the lives of all the people you know, within my care as, as I take them out of that harbour, not this harbour, my harbour's gonna be in the south of France, but I'm just down here for training. So I'm investing thousands of pounds to make sure that I'm as safe as I possibly can be, I've got all the right advice, uh, you know, I've got the qualifications. So I think anything in this life that's worth doing is worth doing properly. But I wanna introduce you to somebody else that in my view, is doing it properly. So her name is Wendy, Wendy Caddis, and she's also on the South Coast, based in Brighton. And she's part of our Mastermind program. And I just wanna play you an interview now of me talking to Wendy about doing it properly. Because property investment, business, like anything else, if you have the right advice, you don't have the right training, you don't have the right support, you don't have the right mentor, you can screw it up and you can hit the rocks pretty hard. So listen to what Wendy's got to say, and you know, I'm sure you'll agree with me. Fantastic, impressive woman. And let's talk at the end about how you could do exactly what I'm doing, learn how to do something safely, competently, uh, you know, and to a very proficient level, learn how to do something that Wendy's doing, which I've been doing it for 38 years, so I'm now in a position where I can mentor, teach other people to do it. So over to me and Wendy. This is an interview that we recorded just a short while ago. So we think. Okay, hello Wendy and thank you for joining me. Hi Paul, thanks for having me here. Oh, absolute pleasure. Could you just introduce yourself, Wendy? Um, what you've done over the years, where you live, that kind of stuff. Okay, so um, I currently live in Brighton Hove, mm -hmm. Hove actually. I run a uh, holiday let management business. Mm -hmm. um, we have our own holiday let property. Previously, um, I've lived in London. Mm -hmm. I lived in London for many, many years. And that's where I started my property development career, really, back in 2004. So we've developed quite a few uh, large scale uh, properties um, in the residential market mm -hmm. uh, over the years. Um, and uh, we eventually made our way down to the South Coast. So um, some of the properties that we've developed have been large Victorian properties, a couple of stories. We've done huge refurbs back to the brick. So we know um, uh, how to do a redevelopment yeah. um, to scale. And those have um, those all made very nice money over the years, haven't they? Yes, they all have. Um, so that, that's kind of uh, where we started our property journey. And um, we've made money along the way, uh, redeveloping these properties and until we got to the South Coast. So we kind of worked our way down the country and so we got to the South Coast and thought, well, actually, we like the idea of holiday lets um, rather than, you know, permanently refurbing one property after another um, uh, just to sell it on. So now we are keeping our properties and we are renting them out as holiday lets. And, um, the aim of our business is providing holiday let accommodation, um, ideally for families where people can group together. Um, I think it's been particularly important after this last year with the lockdown um, that people can actually get together now and can enjoy time together and make memories. So yeah. that's the nature of our business. Perfect. We work together on a monthly basis, so I, I love spending time with you, Wendy. It's always a pleasure. I know that you've got two projects on the go at the moment. Um, one is a one bedroom flat and the other is a pretty big house with a swimming pool. And so they're both nice, uh, yep. very nice in fact. And I just wanted to record this video with Wendy to just inspire other people to show them what can be done. I mean, I know you're pretty much the same as me, Wendy. You, you're a fantastic person, but you wouldn't describe yourself as anything exceptional. Would you 
we're just normal people, aren't we? Yep, we're just normal people, and we just, um, you know, we've got into this property business because it was an additional income for us because I had to work from home because my daughter was ill for many years. Mm. So. Um, that's how we came into the business and it's it's been a been a journey and it's helped us actually to get to where we are and now we can are we at the point where we can expand and and uh move the business on so yeah, that's perfect. really good perfect so the first little project we'll just mention it briefly but the idea is to buy it refurbish it extend it slightly um, and then pull all the money back out essentially isn't it that's right <laughs> That's with the flat, yeah. yeah. So with the flat, we're just going to change things around with the flat just to make it more operational for a holiday flat unit. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's a lovely little place. It's right in the centre of uh, the um, city area. So um, we're quite lucky with the position on that one. Yeah. And it has an outside space, which is very hard to get mm -hmm. um, where it is. So. Um, it's going to make a gorgeous little flat for people. It will take a family, um, but ideally for couples, uh, mm -hmm. you know, somewhere to stay um, for a few days and uh, have a good time exploring the beach yeah. and the city down here. So I think it's just, is it one street back from the seafront? It is one street back from the seafront, yeah. yeah I try and get all my properties as close to the sea as possible. Um, yeah, oh, oh God, so I, I love the sea. Um, yeah. yeah, so our house in Scotland looks onto the sea, our house in France looks onto the sea, so wherever possible the sea, and as a second best, water at least. Yeah. So let's spend a bit more, and that one's a few hundred thousand pounds, isn't it? It is, yeah. So I think we're buying that for about 200,000. Yeah. Okay, so let's spend more time looking at the, the bigger, the more adventurous one, because this one's really fascinating, and I think it really shows people what is possible with knowledge, network, education, as opposed to money. You don't always need a lot of money to do some pretty impressive projects, do you? No, and and with this property, um, we've had our eye on it for quite a while. Um, we know we know the property, it's not far from where we live. Yeah. Um, and it's been on and off the market for a number of years. Mm. So I approached the, uh, the owner, mm -hmm. And I said to him, you know, we'd like to, we really want to buy a property. We've, we've looked at it before. Um, and uh, do you really want to sell it this time? Because we leave by the yes. market. And uh, the poor I, I got to know him a bit and got to know his story um, and, and sort of built up a friendship with him um, to the point that where we can actually, you know, have frank discussions about what he wants to do. Um, and he's at the point where he has to move. He doesn't have a choice now. Yeah. So um, we're going to try and help him move forward as much as possible in that way. So we're doing a private sale. Okay. Never done one of those before. All right. So just yeah. to give all the listeners the, the numbers, this is a £600,000 purchase, isn't it? It is, yes. And so, to, sorry, Wendy, just... to, get, to give everybody the background, this poor guy yeah. has been through a series of challenges in his life, um, all sorts of things yeah. that are quite personal, so not really appropriate to talk about them. But he's essentially taken on a project and not finished it for seven years now. So he's, he's, yeah. liv he's living literally in a building site. Now, from what you told me before, he's got two rooms that are sort of finished where he lives. And it's kind of quite a big four bedroom property, a swimming pool in the garden, and it's just not finished. He's got second fixed bathroom, second uh, fixed bathrooms and plasterboard. And it's literally a building site, yeah? It is. So it's had most of the building work done, thankfully. Um, and we've got second fixes to do in bathrooms, um, some kitchen finishing off. Mm. Um, and most of it is just superficial and decoration um, and doing some landscaping outside. Okay. So um, we looked, I took a builder there last year and we looked at what needed to be done. Mm. And we kind of roughly estimated it about 40,000 odd, maybe a bit more. We, we're allowing a little bit extra because obviously there's been wear and tear on property since the build started mm -hmm. um, a few years ago. Yeah. But essentially, uh, the poor chap's been living in a couple of rooms that are okay and the rest is just, it's piled high with building materials yeah. waiting to be fitted, yeah. um, which will come with the sale of the property too, yeah. thankfully. Yeah. 
And it's gorgeous. I mean, I can see his vision of what he wanted to achieve and it's been very hard for him to leave it. Mm. And he's created this lovely kitchen living space that looks out onto the garden and straight onto the swimming pool. And then he's got an area for a fire pit and for a hot tub. Um, he was building it as a holiday property. It's full of palm trees. So it's perfect for what we wanted for an SA. And the way you've done the deal is really very uh, creative. It's, it's brilliant. And so what you've done is an exchange with a delayed completion with a keys undertaking, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. So could you, could you explain that for in sort of layman's terms for anyone that's not familiar? Uh, so what we're doing, we're going to exchange on the property um, so we're going to release uh, a deposit to the gentleman so he can move to a new place for himself uh, and then we're going to get the keys and we're going to have a license to be able to do some building work in the property to finish off the refurb mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to put it on a holiday let mortgage on completion. At the end, brilliant. So in order to uh, secure the property and get the full exchange done so you're then legally obliged to, to complete Yes. But the point is, you can then, rather than try and get a mortgage on a building site, you can actually get a mortgage on a nice finished house, uh, yeah? So obviously at a much higher yeah. value. So what's, what's the amount of money you've agreed to uh, commit on exchange? Uh, we've agreed to commit £10,000 on exchange to help them move. Yeah, and that's fascinating, because most people think they have to pay 10%, don't they? Which would be £60,000. But you, yeah. don't, you don't know what you don't know, and you've agreed 10000 so that's fine. You're then going to spend whatever it might be, fifty, sixty thousand, doing it up. And what's the end value going to be, Wendy? We're looking at an end value of about uh, eight hundred and twenty-five thousand. Wow! Well. Um, it will be a five-bedroom, three-bathroom, huge. Uh, I think it's about eighteen hundred square foot yep. or more. And roughly, I know you're quite uh, pessimistic when you work out your figures, but when all said and done. What do you think the annual profit is going to be on this one property? Conservatively, um, I've worked out my SA figures, 50% occupancy mm -hmm. at about 92,000 gross. If we worked on a 70% occupancy, it's going to be about 120 odd. Mm -hmm. so. And you're going to have hundreds of thousands of pounds of capital allowances, aren't you? That's right, yes, we are. Which you will need because you'll be earning an awful lot of money at that point when you add in your <laughs> other properties. So the great news, and the reason I'm so proud of what Wendy's doing here, she's open to working with other people. So if somebody wanted to invest with you in projects like this, um, as well as paying them a, a fair rate of interest, uh, you're actually yeah. open to teaching them as you go along, aren't you? We ideally would um, like some investors on board to help us buy projects. And, and it's great to be able to pass on the knowledge to other people. Um, I love doing that uh, as a former teacher. And for anybody who wants to actually just invest in holiday property um, for great returns, it's just um, a great business model yeah. and something we enjoy doing because we like serving people. We like people having a good time um, and, uh, and being there for people to make memories that's that's what it's all about for us i love it i love it i love it i view what i do wendy as a teacher because that's what i think i am uh, I, I view it as like dropping pebbles in a pond so if i can help you and and educate and, and about tax and structure and all that sort of stuff um and then you in turn help other people the ripples just go out and out and out so i know i can't change the entire world on my own but working with people like you can have a pretty good go and you know, the more people we can get into that ripple effect the better if people want to contact you to talk about the opportunity to work with you uh, and learn from you and benefit from all the tax savers and everything else what's the best way to contact you wendy you can contact me on my email um which is wendy at uk. okay so in terms of closing thoughts wendy is there anybody that you think shouldn't do service accommodation or holiday lets? Holiday lets are great um, and it's not a difficult thing to get into. Um, you need to find uh, good people to help you with cleaning if you don't want to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. um, I certainly um, don't. I'm not, I'm not cleaning. <laughs> I'm not ironing sheets. That's never been part of my bag. But I mean setting up all the processes is relatively straightforward and you can do it anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, but we like our properties around near us so that we can we can do things like 
when it's people's birthdays, we, we leave little boxes of chocolates, so yeah, maybe a birthday nice. card or you know, a um, little bottle of wine or a yeah. celebration if it's an anniversary, something. And we're always getting little gifts back, which is lovely. Little cars, little it, gifts, it, lots it, of and veggies. And it is, it is just those little things that make the big difference, isn't it? It is. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. All right, well, really it's been nice. an absolute pleasure spending time with you as always. So if you want to get hold of Wendy to collaborate on some of these projects, wendy at bluesphereproperty.co.uk and uh, look forward to catching up with you soon to learn about your next raft of projects. <laughs> thanks, Wendy. Yes. All right, thanks, Paul. Thank you. Okay, so what did you think to the gorgeous, wonderful, successful Wendy? So Wendy's part of the Touch and Education Mastermind program. You know, there's an application process for that. And if you're interested in doing the sorts of deals that Wendy's done, so that in the near future, you know, two, three, four years from now, you could be doing things like this, or you know, whatever your equivalent is of this, then click on the link below and you know, there's a screening process because we need to make sure that you're a good fit for us. We need to make sure that what we've got is going to help and support you. So two things that I'd like, well, three things I'd like you to do. Why not? If you like this content, subscribe, tell a couple of your mates about it. And, you know, let's just let's just share the word. That's number one. Number two, if you want to talk to Wendy about working with her on uh, the project she's been talking about or, you know, the next project's coming up, she's a lovely lady. She's always willing to talk, share her experience. Of course, she's got a fair bit of it by now. So her contact details are just below. She normally likes being contacted on LinkedIn. So maybe reach out, reach out to her on LinkedIn and see where the conversation goes from there. Uh, so that's number two. Number three, if you personally want to do the kind of stuff that Wendy's doing, the kind of stuff that our fantastic mastermind do, then click on the link and start the process. So yes, You've got to invest some money. Yes, you've got to do some work. You know, you've got to do stuff. Um, but if you're prepared to do what it takes, and if you've got the right attitude, then after the pro you know, due process, uh, we need to get to know each other a little bit more. If we tick your boxes and you tick our boxes, then why not? And you know, as I said, you can then turn your passion into your profession. You can make fantastic money from property, not for the money's sake really important you understand that that's not what we're about at Touchstone. what we're about is choices and if you want to spread the word about how to get wealthy through property if you want to uh, give back to your charity many different charities around the world if you want to be able to afford a better education for your children or private health care or you know all of these choices that money that wealth gives you and for us it all started wealth through property then hit the link See if you fit our criteria and see if we fit your criteria. As always, you've been wonderful. I've been Paul. See you next time. Bye-bye.